Hi, my name is Garrett Bradbury, and today I will be sharing a parenting educational program. The topic of today's program revolves around raising a child while handling your professional or work life at the same time. Today, I will be sharing one or two stories on the side, three key strategies to help moving forward, as well as additional evidence and information on the side from outside sources. The key audience and main audience that I'm trying to reach today are parents with one or more children at home, regardless if it's one parent at home or two parents at home. Strategy number one, get organized. The best thing for busy and chaotic lives are schedules. Parents.com posted a great article on the importance of family calendars. If you're going to forget about it or if it's something you have to go to or need, write it down. With such busy schedules, surprises during the week can make our really important tasks that much more challenging. Set aside one day a week for 15 minutes on Sundays maybe and write down what you need to get done. I know if my mom didn't have this growing up, from my older brother's practices and lessons to my practices to my younger brother's lessons, we wouldn't have gotten anything done. That calendar kept her life together. Strategy number two, understand priorities. Psychology Today posted a great article titled, Working Mothers, Raising Children, Something's Gotta Give. And while that may be true, just because a parent cannot be with their child for every waking minute and be at their desk at work at the same time, does not mean that they can't be a great mother or a great employee. A great quote that goes along with priorities that I saw from this article was, doing it all does not have to mean all at once. A big part of understanding priorities is deciphering what we need to get done during the week and what we may just want to do. That can be sorted out on those Sundays that I talked about earlier when one sits down to prepare the calendar. Strategy number three, be open for assistance. As I emphasized earlier, we can't be everywhere at once. Now, And I understand that not all families are the same. But I do feel as if parents will always know their children and their family best. With that, with that being said, parents kind of understand when they need to be with their children and when they don't necessarily need to be with their children. During the times that they don't necessarily have to be with their children, it's great to have people that you trust take care of them. Whether that be a daycare program at work, nearby family and friends, or even the neighbors. Help is never a bad thing. In conclusion, while these strategies may seem very simple, they can go a very long way. The simple thought of taking 15 minutes on a Sunday to lay out your calendar, lay out the requirements, necessities, even want tos during the week can keep you organized and make sure there's no surprises. Hopefully, these few strategies and suggestions will help whoever's watching this film. I look forward to receiving any feedback from the video. Thank you, and the sources are below.